How you doing guys? I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Um, I wanted to do a quick uh, video on this First Four Figures uh, Mega Man 11 statue. I just got uh, in the mail about a day ago. Um, you guys could see it there on the uh, on your screens, but this is a really, really nice piece. I ordered this about two years ago directly from First Four Figures. I think it was actually January of 2020 when I put my order in and it was just delivered like I said about a day ago um, so two years which I think nowadays with uh, everything going on you can expect a lot of delays but uh, this thing came out just really really nice and it's actually I have it right now sitting on the uh, box here as you guys can see this is the Mega Man 11 uh, definitive definitive edition quarter scale a uh, really nice box. You guys can see the artwork there. And here's the other side. Yeah, but cool uh, packaging. Comes in the styrofoam with tape um, around that you have to cut open. Um, awesome piece. I just put it together a couple of, uh, about an hour ago. I was messing with it. Um, this is in a definitive edition. I believe there are other two other editions which come with a little less uh, things that you could put on them. But this one specifically, uh, when I put it together, um, this guy here, is, he's on a magnet. You guys can see. You could take him off. This missile is also on a magnet here. And Mega Man himself is uh, one whole piece. And he's actually attached via um, a key here and a magnet and he's actually resting on the smoke um, effect here. If you guys could see it there, which my assumption is they must have a pretty uh, strong rod or, or something going through here. Uh, he's not that heavy, but still. And he's pretty much hanging on by, by here because uh, his feet are barely just resting. His one foot is barely just resting on the bottom there. But Mega Man, Mega Man himself is one piece. This is one piece held on by a magnet. This is all one piece uh, held on by a magnet. Uh, these three effects here, one, two, three, um, are all separate pieces. These are not uh, magnetized or anything. They are Kidian. Um, I don't know if you could see there. Uh, they're numbered, uh, but they're also shaped differently so you know where they go. And you get three of them. Um, those are the only uh, pieces. So you get one, two, three effects. You get this guy, the missile, and Mega Man himself. So it's not a lot of stuff to uh, put together. So I'll do a quick walk around. Uh, the effects are really nice. The smoke. Um, everything just came out really, really, really nice. The blue is nice and vibrant. The one thing you will notice is you'll notice uh, they added like, I guess what they call battle damage. So you'll see things such as this that kind of look like actual damage. They're not too badly done. In all honesty, I wish they would have just not done this because it, it can look like it's actual damage, but it's all over um, the statue. It's just some battle damage effect that they decided to add. You could see some here on the waist. Uh, also, this guy here has a, has some here in his feet. You can see some here in his knees, some battle damage. I, I don't mind it so much. I just think it would have been a lot better if it was just cleaner. But uh, I'm really happy with this thing. And it, it came out really nice. I, I'd say it's definitely worth it if you're a fan of uh, Mega Man. And, I, you know, me, I am, and video games in general. But they've done such a great job. You guys could see the base there. Uh, this is definitely Mega Man 11 inspired. Um, but it's it's really nice. And you know what? It's not a lot of footprint from the base standpoint. The effects will stick out, you know, past the base itself, as you guys could see them there. Um, I think this statue would probably look best maybe at eye level, just because of the um, the pose is kind of... A, Kind of looking down a bit, so if you were to put him on a lower shelf, he's going to look like this. I think uh, at eye level, he would sort of look like this. 
but really nice statue great job for his four figures um you guys could see the back there i mean no complaints on my end no breakages or anything no scratches no messy paint uh definitely definitely uh worth it and the cool thing about this one it lights up you get a battery you can also uh plug it in i have mine plugged into a, a little battery bank right now but you guys could see the um the lights the the light up is really well done each of these individual effects here also light up his um the missile here lights up the big explosion on the back here lights up the cannon here you guys could see lit up and uh, his helmet as well on this side and this side here is all um lit up and again it just gives it this really wow factor and you know on the statue itself there was all those light ups but then also on the base the arrows are all lit up which looks really nice and you guys could see the the whole battle damage motif is also on the base you guys could see it there um but yeah re really well done what i can try and do is perhaps um let's see if i could turn off the lights in this room so you guys could uh maybe get a better idea of you know what it looks like here with in the dark anyway so here it is with some lights off i want to turn off all the shelves too but there you start to see um just to light up man like if you had this sitting in a dark room like i mean my room's not completely dark there's there is one small window in here um but man i have some other previous pieces um some i wasn't too crazy about the last one which was the metroid samus metroid prime one that i got that took like three years to get to me that one was was good but this one, I think it's kind of, it blew my socks off, man. This one's like really, really nice. You guys could see it. They're all nice and uh, and lit up. I'll do a, a quick uh, walk around. Sorry for all the movement, but you could see the, the fire effect there. It's so vibrant. I think they did that so well. The missile as well. It's, again, really well done. You guys could see the base again lights up yep there you go guys just want to do this uh, short video for anyone out there that uh may be interested um i don't know if you can still get these i think you probably should have to pre-order them but if you have this on the way uh man you have a really good piece coming your way uh again great job by first four, first four figures this is uh, a really really awesome piece and, you know, if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a, a comment, you know. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone out there. But if you're a fan of Mega Man and you can get your uh, your hands on this one, I would say, you know, definitely thumbs up. But uh, thank you guys for your time. Stay safe out there and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.